There are a lot of games on the market right now that end up being exactly what you expected them to be when you first booted them up, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. But sometimes I want to be surprised, shocked even, by how much more impressive a game is than I expected it to be. Over the past week I've had such an experience with War of the Monsters. I've always heard good things about this game, but personally had never played it. That said, in my mind, I was always comparing it to a game I had played. Godzilla Destroy All Monsters Melee. So, I was pretty much expecting War of the Monsters to be a better version of that, which is to say a Tekken-style fighting game with big monsters that use cities for the backgrounds. What I actually got was far different, and much better. The game is a brawler that takes up to four different building-sized behemoths and throws them into enormous arenas that they have to fight it out in. The monsters can use most of the environment to their advantage, using radio towers to impale enemies, throwing cars at them, or throwing their enemies into the sides of fully destructible buildings. In fact, thanks to all the chaos and destruction, the game that War of the Monsters reminds me of the most is Hulk Ultimate Destruction. While the player character and the scale of the destruction are far larger in War of the Monsters, the size of the arenas and the creativity you can express through the use of the environment is highly evocative of Hulk. Still, like any brawler, you'd expect the most fun to be had in multiplayer, duking it out against your friends. But surprisingly enough, it's War of the Monsters Adventure Mode that ends up being the most fun. Instead of just making a boring version of the multiplayer that you play against bots, the developers took the time to create unique scenarios for each of the game's arenas. They even added in a few bosses to mix things up every once in a while. That said, the adventure mode is something you can only really enjoy once, and the free-for-all and endurance modes are certainly welcome for a bit of variety if you don't have any friends to play with. War of the Monsters is the rare fighting game that manages to nail both single-player and multiplayer. The fact is that whether you play alone or with a friend, you're going to have a blast with this game. And best of all, it's available on the PS3 as a downloadable title, meaning you don't even need to hunt down a copy to enjoy it. If you'd like to find out if an old game from your childhood has stood the test of time, leave a comment below or send me a message. If you like what I'm doing, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.